Hey everyone, Micah here with Electrek, and today I'm reviewing the new updated Unagi electric scooter. This is one sexy electric scooter. Let's check it out. I mean, come on guys, that's a nice looking scooter. Am I right? Just look at that carbon fiber stem and the CNC machined magnesium handlebars. And that's not cheap rubber on the bar ends. Instead, they're wrapped in high-end silicone. And there's even more embedded silicone in the deck. I mean, it can't just be me, right? Look at this thing, guys. All the lines on the scooter are just so sweeping and flowing and... All right, sorry, I'm getting a little bit carried away here. Yeah, it's a good looking scooter, but how does it perform? Believe it or not, even though the Unagi doesn't look very powerful, it's actually hiding dual 250 watt motors that each put out 500 watts peak for a total of 1000 watts of power from this scooter. That means acceleration is peppy, and you'll actually get some decent hill climbing ability, at least for small and medium hills. This isn't going to climb huge hills without slowing down a good bit, but then again, no scooter of this power level will. The Unagi E500 reaches a top speed of 17 miles per hour. That's not going to win at any awards, but it's about as fast as I want to go on a scooter that doesn't have any suspension. Oh yeah, did I mention that there's no suspension? That's the only major gripe about the scooter that I have. I mean, it looks great, it's powerful, it's sleek, but it doesn't have any suspension. Instead, it does have these hollow void tires. These kind of smush a bit to mimic the feeling of pneumatic tires and give it a little bit of shock absorption, but the emphasis is on the little bit. They're fine for smooth surfaces, where you honestly won't even realize that the Unagi lacks suspension since it really does glide so smoothly. But if you move to bricks or pavers or hit some rough patches in the street, you're gonna feel it. The airless tires are convenient in that you don't have any problem with flat tires and thus there's really no maintenance concerns with the Unagi. But smooth rides become a lot less smooth if you aren't on nice paths like I am. But like I said, a lack of suspension is about the only area where I can really complain about the scooter. Otherwise, the Unagi is really a nicely made scooter. The lights are nice and bright, the screen is beautiful and really it looks like a piece of glossy automotive display or something. And check out the folding mechanism. This is without a doubt the single nicest folding mechanism I have ever seen in a scooter, hands down. You simply push the button down, fold it, and that's it. You're ready to go. And at just 26 pounds or 12 kilograms, the Unagi is super lightweight compared to other electric scooters. There's also a single motor version that's even lighter, but I recommend the dual motor Unagi because it's just more fun having that much power, and twice the motors means twice the braking power as well. And look, I love physical brake levers as much as the next guy. They make me feel more secure than regenerative braking. But the Unagi has some of the strongest regenerative brakes I've tried outside of maybe the boosted rev, and that's just a crazy scooter. But for a scooter this small to have great regenerative braking is a really nice feature. But if you really need to have some type of physical brake, there's still this scrub brake on the back that you can just stomp on, and that'll be your physical brake as well for emergency situations. But personally, I almost never use it because the regen braking is just so strong. When it comes to range, don't expect to have your socks knocked off here. They advertise 15 miles or 25 kilometers of range, but that's in the lowest speed level. At full speed, 10 miles or 16 kilometers would be a respectable range for this scooter. That's pretty much on par with budget scooters, so I would have loved to see a larger battery, but to be fair, most people aren't commuting more than 10 miles or so on a scooter. Yes, I know there will be someone in the comments telling me that his commute is 10.1 miles, but by and large, people who use scooters as a commuter tool are staying in the city and mostly going on shorter trips where 10 miles of range will pretty much suffice. That being said, with the price of $990, the Unagi scooter costs much more than a standard budget scooter, despite having similar range. So what do you get for that higher price? Well, you get the sleek and sexy design we talked about, you get dual motors, you get exotic materials like carbon fiber and magnesium and silicone, but perhaps most importantly, you get really good customer service. Some scooter companies are notorious for having zero after-sale support. But Unagi is an American-based company that has a good reputation in the industry for support, and that's important to a lot of people. At the end of the day though, the price of the Unagi reflects what it is, which is a premium, almost luxury scooter. 
There are definitely cheaper scooters out there, and there are faster scooters out there, but there aren't any scooters that are prettier or sleeker than this one. And so if aesthetics are important to you, then the Unagi could be right up your alley. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed that review. If you did, why don't you give this video a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe so you can check out all of Electrek's electric vehicle videos. We'll see you here next time.